Drivers are raising concerns about a particularly dangerous intersection in Central after a motorcyclist lost his life there last Friday. Fallon Brown tells us why drivers are worried. This intersection at Jor Road and Highway 64 has drivers concerned. Coming through uh, like on a Monday morning, you'll see debris laying in the road from where accidents have happened that have been cleared up over the weekend. Brandon Haley rides his motorcycle through here almost every day, and he's seen a number of crashes happen the same way. The people that are stopped at the stop sign aren't taking enough time to let those cars clear out of the way to make sure there is nothing hidden behind them in the eastbound lane before they pull into the road and they're pulling out in front of people. That's exactly what resulted in a fatal crash last Friday. An SUV pulled out in front of the 31-year-old victim's motorcycle. Haley says it's a design flaw as well as an issue of impatient drivers. Some people are just in a hurry and don't take their time and then some people look to the east and then they look back to the west and they think there's actually nothing there when there is somebody hidden behind another vehicle. In fact, he had a close call recently when he was on his motorcycle. Wound up in a skid and stopped in the westbound lane directly in front of him to avoid hitting him. Luckily, nothing else was coming. Haley does not know what it would take to fix the issue, but hopes local officials are paying attention because he believes the number of accidents here could be reduced with some type of action. Possibly doing something maybe a roundabout or something to that, or, or shifting the turning lane further over so people, when they pull up to the stop sign, they can actually see both ways more clearly. And Central Mayor Wade Evans did have a comment at the scene of last week's fatal accident. It's important to put your phone down. It's important to strap in. It's important to pay attention, look twice, you know, and, and stay focused on the road. In Central, Fallon Brown, WBRZ News 2. We have reached out to Central Police to request crash data for the past five years at this intersection, but don't have that data just yet.